Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this X3 X Drive 20D M Sport. This car is registered in June 2017 and is finished off in Glacier Silver Metallic. It's obviously the F25 generation of the X5. It's a beautiful option to select on this vehicle that's about to run around with you now. So with the M Sport, you have the more aggressive front styling, deeper sort of lower front bumper. Car's got the optional Xenon headlights, so much better uh, light quality over the sort of standard halogen. You've got the 20 inch, this is the M double spoke alloy wheel. We've had this recently uh, refurbished in a full gloss black as well, which I think contrasts really nicely against the glacier silver. And also the high gloss shadow line finish around the windows and the roof rails there. This car also has the sun protection glass, also the rear tinted windows. Obviously a slight element of privacy on that, but more for the sun protection. So it helps protect the UV from the UV rays from there. Helps, so it basically helps to protect the rear passengers from the UV rays, should I say. And also helps keep the cabin a bit cooler on those hot days. Uh, power tailgate. Illustration of X3. Nice deep boot. 40-20-40 split folding seat arrangement there. We've also got some extra sort of relief storage as well. Keep some items stowed away. A nice deep storage bins there on the right and left. Also, 12 volt socket there at the back as well. Handy die tie down straps in places. Got a carrier bag hook there as well. So just nice, nicely thought out in the rear. Into the back of the car. Black Navarre leather running throughout. Some nice contrast stitching, that lighter stitching. You see some details on the headrests. And it also runs through the door card as well. And a lovely brushed aluminium effect as well on those door trims there. Picks up the stitching very nicely. Rear passengers also got some ventilation controls there, airflow and temperature. And also one of the big things this car has is the panoramic sunroof, which really just floods the light of ca uh, cabin of light. So this darker interior and the dark headline that you get on the M Sport both for the rear passengers and front passengers. Just makes it a lovely place to be. This car's also got the glorious Harmony Cardon surround sound hi-fi system on it. Beautiful more speaker system that. Also have the electric folding mirrors there, even controlled by that button or via the key. Going into the car. This vehicle's also got the uh, black panel display, which makes it this lower section has this LCD panel. So you do a few things, filter through some information like I am now from the steering wheel com column. Um, also, you'll get turn-by-turn -turn information up from the navigational system. Uh, if you're changing things like media, uh, media uh, from the steering wheel controls, that's all just sort of straight in front of you, where your driving sort of information is. So you're not having to sort of glance over to the left, the main uh, iDrive screen. It can all be done from a touch of steering wheel. And just gives you relevant information and so when you need to see it. Uh, talk about that main screen, this car's got the update upgraded, should I say, um, live copy, um, not live copy, sorry, uh, professional media pack. So we have this much bigger display. So when you're on things like the map, for instance, obviously much bigger, much easier to see, much better resolution as well through that system. Um, medium radio, we've got full digital radio as long as FM and AM as well. This car's got a built in hard drive. So you can download store music either via USB or a CD, DVD, music file. Auxiliary in, obviously it takes uh, Bluetooth as well, so obviously for calls as well as for audio streaming, music streaming. And obviously you've got the full sound management there for that Harmony Carden. And it is a full uh, Dol Dolby Logic 7 surround sound system as well, so it's glorious sound coming through there. A full connected drive system as well, so obviously that's the BMW sort of interface between you and the, um, the vehicle, digital interface. Basically, things you set up with this but also has some BNB assistance built into it. So, if you need to contact roadside assistance or customer support or service partner, all built into the vehicle. So, you don't need your mobile phone for that, just all using the car's built in sim. Lots of different vehicle settings. I'm just checking tyre pressures, oil levels, service history. So, obviously, all the individual settings for the vehicle. The car also has the reversing camera along with the front and rear sensors. 
you see it picking up here on the left, the sensors and the tones, a great camera, lovely clarity and visibility as well there just to help you in parking manoeuvres. Moving on down, dual zone climate control here in the front, three way heated front seats for both front passengers, obviously a CD player there and also the favourite buttons, the one to wait. Uh, they can be preset for anything on the vehicle, whether it's a satellite navigation information, mobile numbers, maybe your favourite album so it's saved on the hard drive, anything like that. So either to do an action, so to speak, or take you to a menu to see some information. And your cup holders here as well, it's in a way where it's to this 12 volt socket. So it's a 2 litre diesel turbocharged engine, a four cylinder, so linked to the glorious 8 speed set of gearbox. Uh, full obviously automatic, but what you do also have is a full manual mode as well. So sports automatic as well as a full manual mode where you can even use the gear selector to choose your gear or the paddles on the steering wheel up here if you want to take manual control. Moving back down, we've also got the automatic handbrake as well with auto hold. So obviously that's where you come to a stop with the brake pedal, automatically puts the handbrake on for you and then to move away to put your foot on the accelerator and away you go. Fantastic for town, city driving, stop, go traffic, things like that. Just a real easy thing to use. Makes the car just a delight to drive. What's the fantastic iDrive dial? The interface with the main screen. There's a rotary dial here to select and push down select. And this is also a touchpad, so you can type and uh, draw on here, zoom on here, if you're putting letters and numbers in, or like I said, moving around and say the map. So a real tactile system to use. That brushed aluminium set that runs through the front car as well. And also to this main centre console, which we've just been going around with the iDrive dial. So it adds a nice bit of light, actually lifts the cabin interior very nicely. Just over to the steering wheel, left hand side here, we've also got the cruise control settings. And on the right, we've got the volume, audio controls, things like that. This car's got 36,974 miles on at present, and as I mentioned, it's a June 2017 registered vehicle. Beautiful generation, this F25 X3. I was lucky enough to have one as a demonstrator for a few months. And a lovely specification on this car as well. If you'd like any more details on this vehicle, please do get in contact. I'd like to organise a demonstration drive or anything, and one of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.